What's going on? How's it going guys? And welcome to another video where today we're going to be doing some bits and bobs to the little Renault Clio 172 and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab the trusty Stanley knife and we've got two bits here. So let's go ahead and open these boys up. Don't do that. There we go. So we have a strap brace for the Renault Clio. I believe this is the front one, yeah. And next we have these are both eBay specials. Oh, this isn't even in, this isn't even for the uh, Renault. Okay, <laughs> so I guess we just got one thing to do today, and that's this. Um, the other thing will be the um, actual handbrake because these are cable handbrakes, and one of the cables have snapped. So I've ordered one of them. But I was hoping that was it, but it's not in that. So I guess we're just fitting a strut brace today, uh, and. Um, Quick thank you for everyone who's watching this or on the channel in general because we've just hit a thousand subs. There we go. Right, I'll go ahead and get you guys mounted. Alright oh, guys, so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking right, these are a lot bigger than the hole on these. So I'm like, huh. So I look at there and it says Strap brace, rear, upper, steel, running for So basically, this is for the rear. So, I've ordered the rear one, by mistake, instead of the front one, which is always good, because I suppose, now I just have to get the front one. <laughs> oh well, at least we got a rear one now. No, I'm probably gonna get one in the end anyway, but, oh well, here's what it is. At least we got a rear one. So I'll go ahead and open this up, and uh, I guess we'll just get it on. I think it's pretty easy. Like, basically, it's these little caps, which do come off, because I've just got that one off. There we go. So you just pull it off, and you've got access to the two bolts, and I'm pretty sure it's just literally undo these bolts, uh, put the new, put the strut brace in, tighten them up, and then that's basically it. Pretty damn easy to be fair, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this unbagged. decent colour to be fair. So I'm thinking do these just go over? Oh yeah, okay, that's not bad actually. That's a pretty damn good fit. <laughs> and then you got the little sticker in the middle. Not bad. Okay, we'll get this out of the way. Get the air gun on the go, I think. Mm. Yep, go the right way. And we don't fit. We don't fit. This is too big. So, I can either remove that panel or just do it by ratchet, but I'm hoping. Yeah, these are like hold and turn bolts, so. Yeah, you hold the top of them. And then you turn the nut. So I was hoping to just get the gun on them, but I don't think I will be able to. But we can give it a go with the ratchet and see if it comes off or not. And then we'll just go from there. Okay, so the, bolt, the nut's actually coming off. 
it gave it a little bit of a fight at the beginning, but then it just literally cracked. And that's coming off, but we are going to have to hold the thread and use a 16mm spanner to put this back on. Cool, so that's one. Move this socket, get the torch for you guys. This one's putting off a bit of fires up. There we go. So literally you just need to crank it and let it come off. Sweet. Very nice and easy. Pop this on. That's one side. So this one's sat a lot better. Let's try and get this one down the wall. Oh, it's not going down. Pretty damn snug fit. Let's go ahead and get the nuts on. And then we'll go from there. Right, I'll take it back. It's not an easy fit. This side is nice and flush. Perfect. This side, that lip won't go down. All right, guys, so we've got one side. And your slides now in. It did take a little bit of a hammer um, and some WD-40 to actually make it slide in there. But it's in. And obviously I've just touched up with some red carpet paint. Just the uh, marks I used uh, the hammer for. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead and tie the bolts down. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've used a 9mm spanner at the top there. And a 16mm Spanner just turn the nut tight, but they're not really moving anyway, so just in case. Yeah, the fence not even moving. Cool. Basically done now. Okay, there we go. That's it. It's fully installed. Both nuts are tightened down. And yeah, it does look pretty damn sporty to be fair. I'll let you guys know how it feels in the next video. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Do a little comment down below or whatnot. And uh, more videos to come. I've literally just spent a thousand a grand in uh, parts for the uh, S3. So, a few videos to come on that. We're gonna be freaking, yeah, we're gonna be doing quite a bit. We're basically going to stage two plus, and uh, that's gonna be pretty damn exciting. So yeah. I'll go ahead and leave you guys here. I hope you have a good day. And once again, thank you for a thousand subs. Lots of videos to come, especially with the S3. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.